In this video, I'll show you how to use Button Boost, which temporarily enlarges a button um, in order to make it stand out more. And you can also find the instructions for this on page 121 of your manual. But you're going to use Vocab Builder to do this. So you go into your menu, which I've changed to this button. And then you go into Vocab Builder and turn it on. If you've previously hidden things, you might need to show everything in order to see all of your buttons. And then you're gonna use this feature called, whoops, <laughs> button boost. So we're going to boost some buttons. And let's say I want to enlarge, um, maybe I want to enlarge the one that says play. So I tap it once and it's gonna be huge. And if I like that, that's fine, I exit. And that's what my page looks like right now. So some other buttons will be temporarily Play. hidden, but this will be Play. front and center. And if you want to make it a little bit smaller, go back through menu, vocab builder, button boost, and then just tap it again. It's gonna go down and down and then back to normal. So it goes through three levels of enlarging. So let's say you want to do, um, more and stop. They're right next to each other, so that might be tricky. Let's see what happens. So one time, yeah, it's gonna cover up way too much, but if I do this and then stop, yeah, they're kind of overlapping. So if they're right next to each other, that's not gonna work out too well. But maybe you just want to work on more, but you still wanna have some options. We could leave it like that and then exit, and it's going to stand out. You could also change the color to make it stand out more as well, and change how it responds when you select it. Those are all things that are in the user settings under iGaze controls.